Hey y'all, I'm about to do my week 36 terzepatide injection. I promise after mixing earlier that I was going to come back and do my injection with y'all. So here we are. So I'm doing a tummy injection. So that's why I have this on. This is one of my little workout outfits. That's all it is. Nothing super special. So I have everything here that I need to use for my injection. So first and foremost, let me sanitize. Always do that. <laughs> Make sure you clean your hands. These are my insulin syringes. These are 1 ml or 100 units. And I need to inject 75 units today. I'm dosing up to 7.5 milligrams. Hey, party in the house. This right here is my terzepatide. I just took it out the fridge, so it's still good and cold. If y'all know what I mean. So this is my terzepatide from AC Peptides. This is a 15 milligram vial. Y'all, my eyes probably look like super low. That's thanks to myasthenia gravis. If y'all know about MG, it's a autoimmune disease, neuromuscular in nature. And if you mess me up a little bit as far as like muscle weakness and fatigue and things like that, so I kind of tired out. I kind of tire out. And I've had like a long day. I took my son to school today, picked him up and everything. Film, I've been filming back to back, doing TikTok shop videos, videos for my Amazon influencer account, um, just creating content for all of my social media, <laughs> working with brands for UGC. So I've been busy. I have um, two alcohol pads. I'm going to use one for the injection site and the other one, I need to clean my bowel. I'm going to wipe my bowel with this one. Here's my terzepatide. I'm going to wipe this vial. All right, that should be good enough. So we're going to go ahead and open up this insulin syringe. All right, uncap it. And I'm not going to take this one off just yet. Let me go ahead and clean that injection spot first. So I'm going to do it like right here in my little. Fatty little area. I'm working on that, y'all, with my exercises. I've been starting back working out slowly but surely using my vibration plate. That's my favorite. I got to get back on my treadmill, but I'm super sore because I've been doing a lot of cleaning and stuff around the house. But it's funny because I could barely find the area I used to do my injection in because my tummy was way the hell out here. So now nah, <laughs> it's shriveling up. And so I don't have as much area to work with, but I'm not complaining. I ain't mad. <laughs> I ain't mad at it, Shy. So let's go ahead and uncap this. We got this little area right here we're going to use for the injection. And so I'm going to take, we're not doing the full, we need to do 70. And I don't know how to do 75 units. On a syringe. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Let me see. 70. And I don't even see where the 5 would be. Hold on. 1, 2. It just. After 5 it goes to 80. I'm going to do. I'm going to do 70. And then I'm going to get another. Smaller insulin syringe. And do the rest. Just so it's just right. Okay. So we got to pull back. We're going to insert the air into the bowel. So go ahead and just push that down. Push it down in there like that. The air's in there. Flip it upside down like that. And once you put the air in, it starts doing the work for you. Look at this. Look at this. It's working for me. Look at that. I'm not even pulling it back really. Look. You see it's flowing by itself. Ain't that crazy? I got to make sure I don't go down too far though. So my goal is to get it to go to 70. It's getting there. Okay. Put off of here, y'all. 
There we go. We already cleaned the tummy, so I'm going to pinch right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just a couple inches away from my belly button. Let's push that in and inject this slowly. And then I'm going to do the last five in a smaller syringe. Pull that out. Tap this back. <clears throat> We're going to get rid of this. We got our sharps container. Okay, I went and got a 0.3 ml syringe, so it only goes to 30 units, but it's perfect because it has the five. And that's all I need right now. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead. I'm going to wipe the cap again. And this time we only need five. Pull that back. Only to five. Okay. That in the center. Inject the air in. Turn it upside down like that. And it's pulling itself back pretty much. Well, it's a little bubble. Even though I put air in it. Because this syringe is so teeny tiny. I'm almost there, y'all. There's a five right there. So uh, a little bit more. Oh, right there. It's probably good. Okay. So we got what we need. So we got it to the five. See that? So. I'm going on the same side again and just and these are short needles here. Neither one of them hurt though, really. It's just a little pinch. Yeah, we're gonna see how working out do for the tummy. Because I still got quite a bit of weight to lose. At least like another 20, 25 pounds or so. 25 pounds at least, but I'm gonna go by you know how I'm looking and feeling. Um, I'm only four foot eleven, y'all. So I'm super petite and super short. So yeah, <laughs> now it makes sense, right? You hear me? <laughs> if y'all have any questions, y'all feel free to ask me. Um, if y'all are interested in mixing your own resepatide, then AC peptides is amazing, very good product. If not, if you're not interested in mixing and you don't want a three month commitment, you can go through Orderly Meds. Those are the two companies that I stick by, I trust, and so I don't recommend a whole bunch of companies. But yeah, so Orderly Meds, if you don't want to do mixing, but if you don't mind it, definitely uh, AC Peptides. All right. So, all right, your girl Chic is going to see y'all soon. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my GLP1 journey. I'm down 43 pounds. I'm going to do an update soon and let y'all know how this 7.5 is doing me, how it's working with my body. So y'all have a good one. And let me know down below in the comments how y'all journeys are going. Okay. All right, y'all. Later.